nice wet day in Magic Kingdom. Like always, but I don't know if you can see in the distance there. It's spooky time. I thought I found a nice quiet area to film. I was wrong. Welcome back. We're just seeing our own people that are watching me. I look like trash because I worked a full shift day at Crystal Palace for breakfast, uh, which is actually really fun. I like dinner better there. Breakfast is fine just because I love Crystal. Um, but I I put a poll up on Instagram asking if y'all want to see the new like Halloween decor and Halloween merch and stuff like that at Magic Kingdom. And 94% uh, of people said yes. So I'm in Magic Kingdom. I'm going to see the new Halloween decor. I think it's only on Main Street. I've only seen like the pumpkins and stuff and the new banners um, because I walked in Fantasyland and there was nothing in Fantasyland. So I might see Tomorrowland and I might go see the Mansion 50th merch that's happening over in Liberty Square. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to go see what's new on Main Street and go see like prices, things like that. Um, I was going to see the confectionery because so the confectionery has more like Halloween snacks out. And I'm like super excited to do this because today in the tunnels they were having a Halloween party and they had like Witch Daisy and Witch Minnie out and they were in outfits from I think like Hong Kong and they were so cute I could die. Um, I didn't wait to meet them so I was like I'm gonna work with them anyways. Um, but they also had like the telecast out and all the food out and all the merch out for the Halloween parties and they're so cute. I don't think I could talk about it like legally but they're so cute. Um, so I was super excited for Halloween. So we're gonna go find the new Halloween merch, the new Halloween snacks, and the new Halloween decor. So of course we have the cute Mickey pumpkins up. These are on all of the lamp posts now, all around Main Street and the hub area. So you can see they're everywhere. I'm gonna go take some cute photos of them with the castle in the background, I think. Um, and then I'm gonna head back the other way down Main Street. So you can see the stores and stuff like that and all the cute pumpkins and all the cute banners that are on Main Street. Halloween is my absolute favorite time to be in the parks. So I'm so excited that I'm getting to do it this year because last year my program ended too early. Hmm. And we also have all these little pumpkins and gourds out and the planners as well, which is so cute. I don't know if the colors or the banners were always these colors, but the banners are also blue and yellow now. Were they always like that? Please tell me. I'm bad at my job. Would it really be a trip to Magic Kingdom without a shot of this beautiful, beautiful castle? Like I said, they have them all over. Look at how cute they are, but I'm gonna head into Liberty Square to check out the mansion merch before I head down Main Street, so they wanna catch the bus outside of the park. So let's go see the cute new mansion merch for the 50th, even though it's not even here, it's in Disneyland. Whoops, it's fine. Okay, so they do have a little bit of decor in Liberty Square. These are super, super cute. They're like a little harvest basket things and then also the gazebo over here i think i can still go over here so this is the little gazebo that mary poppins meets in in the morning um it's in between adventureland and liberty square but it has like cute little leaves up and someone will be meeting here last year two years ago it was jack and sally but they're not here this year they're inside and last year it was the grave diggers i don't know who's gonna be here this year i could find out but i just haven't um but it's really cute too i don't know how well y'all can see But it's got little leaves all up here to be spooky for Halloween. So this is gonna be a super cute character meet and greet during the Halloween parties. Just looking at Frontierland, I don't see anything. So I'm gonna assume Frontierland and Adventureland don't have any merch because I don't want to walk that far. But let's go back into Liberty Square and go to Mansion now because they have some cute fall stuff. Again, they have more of these cute little like leaf bundle things and then this like little outdoor vending stand has the same as the gazebo has those like cute little like leaf garlands which I actually like and they have little burlap bows I would have this in my house I'm not gonna lie to you they still have so many things I, I really don't need another mug look at how cute this is it says Disneyland Resort Haunted Mansion 50 years of fright and fun he says it's going to be a swinging wake and it has like, I don't know if you can see, it has like the wallpaper pattern in black on black there, but that's super cute. I mean, I don't need a $25 mug, but it's so cute. You like big quilt blankets, those are 60 bucks though, excuse me. It's like little dune buggies. I like what they say, again, I mansion, 50th, 20 bucks. I think these are hilarious. 
These are door knockers. They're like the one from inside the mansion that you can stick to a door. I think they're so funny. They're automatic. $25. I think it's funny because we don't have the checking ghost on this coast, but it's all about Disneyland. But I think it's so, so, so cute. Do you like the hoodie? Like what we just had. Like popcorn, coffee, like things like that. Hey, Molly, let's look this way. So cute. Boss of the shirts. And if you're feeling fancy, they always have the Jimmy and Burks. I like this one so much. Focus. And this one's so cute. Like the little one. But um, she's still two hundred and thirty dollars. So. Um, this one is a Passover exclusive one that's also really cute. And then the larger tote bag that they always do. These are cute too. The ornaments. I'm really tempted by these, not gonna lie to you. And they're only $17. But these are the light up mansioneers and they have a fish like ghosts on them. But they're adorable. I don't think she's new, but look how cute this one is. It's the Mansion Attraction Spirit Jersey. And then it says the Haunted Mansion on the back. She's real cute. Okay, these aren't for the 50th, but these are so cute. I already bought one for Jamie last week and she got Constance. But I think they're only 10 bucks. They're the Wishables, they're like the little plush. And this one has four options. You have Ezra, Phineas, Constance, which is one that she got, and the hat box ghost. And they're so cute. They're like little mystery bags. <laughs> These are just like the regular ones up here, though. But I think the mystery bags are cuter. So that was the new Mansion 50 stuff and just some other cute stuff in Memento Mori. I'm heading back to Main Street, almost just tripping Phil. Um, back to Main Street to now go look at the ha Halloween decor and the Halloween merch. But I thought it'd be fun because we're already being spooky to also do Memento Mori. It was fun, right? I'm not crazy. Uh, let's just go back to Main Street. <laughs> also, I don't think I've said it anywhere, but if you're going to any Halloween parties, I'm going to the one that's either like August 30th or September 1st, I think. Um, I need to buy my tickets still. By any chance, you're gonna be at one of those Halloween parties or whatever one that is on those dates, because I don't know. Hit me up. I'll be there with Jamie, because y'all love Jamie. Um, but now let's go actually see decorations. Um, I'm gonna head towards the Crystal Palace because I know Crystal Palace has super cute decorations because I stared at them for eight hours today. I seriously will petition to have these up all year round because look at how freaking cute this is on the outside. Welcome to my home. I was here all morning. <laughs> look at how cute the like fall decor is here. It's so cute. They have like big bows in the back that have like pumpkin like patterns on them. It's so darn cute. I'm obsessed with it, but I feel like they could just do it all the time. If it's just Halloween all the time, everything's fine, right? I am here at Casey's with my purse pumpkin sighting. So Main Street has the super cute banners up and then also the little pumpkins up there. And they also have more over there. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna go down to actual Main Street, but I thought I would just stop by at Casey's and show you all these first because they're so cute. So Casey's, we have like the Mickey pumpkin, and this one's so funny, it's a french fry pumpkin. And then there's a little monorail pumpkin too. Um, let's head to the other side of the street and see what we got over there. These guys are just normal looking pumpkins. Let's see. There's a little ice cream sundae. Photo pass. How's it going? Good. <laughs> it's so cute. There's a little ice cream cone here and a little ice cream sundae on the side. Starbucks has like the little garlands. They have the little garlands over here too. It's just the most festive. That was Samantha, by the way. <laughs> These are also all just normal looking pumpkins. I want some fun pumpkins. That's what I came here for. I didn't come here for normal pumpkins. I just stepped in a huge puddle. Kill me now. We have a witch. The jack key is super cute. A little spider there. Oh, I came during the flag retreat. I don't know America. I'm scared. Let's go look at some merchandise while this finishes up so I don't interrupt. 
Okay, Tigger's super creepy, so I really don't need him. But I now have the Pooh and the Eeyore, and I want him. And also Piglet's real cute. So look, I really want Piglet. Okay, I'm so excited. Like this cup, the Beauty and the Beast light up cup, they're doing one of these for Mickey's Not So Scary. And I've never needed anything more in my whole life. I don't know the price of it, but I'm a sucker for a good cup, so I need, I need the Not So Scary one. It's so cute. There's no Halloween merch right here. I'm in the Emporium right now, by the way, but they have all the cute Pride merch because it's Pride Month. So I love the ears. I love this one. It's so cute. It's so cute. They have like shirts. I like the hat too. This is cute too. Stop it. Look at how dang cute these earrings are though. And they're only $15. I love them. If I could wear ears, I'd be all over that shit. And they have the Mickey like memory plush and then little pens. But I love all the Pride merch. I think it's so cute. But let's go find some spooky stuff. Uh, Houston, we have found the Halloween merchandise. I hope you're ready. So this is like the middle store. You see the Emporium, that's where all the plush is. This is the store beside it. So let's take a look to see what new merch we have this year. These are real cute. Look at these little witch ears and they say, let's get wicked on the side. Uh, you have no price on you because that's very Disney-esque for ears, but those are really cute. Some kids clothes, little light up. 2019. I'm a big fan of um, Witch Minnie. I feel like she gets me on a spiritual level. Um, she's $22, so like I'd never buy her, but she's cute. Are you okay, child? Things I would also never buy, but I love is this cute little like countdown. Oh, how cute she is. We also have Vampire Mickey. This is so cute. I love this pillow. If I like had an excuse to just own a spooky pillow, it'd be this one. How much do you cost, sir? Like $30 probably? Oh, $25. Still, I don't need a spooky pillow. But that's so cute. Oh, here's a little countdown out of its case. This is their little mug. To bring up some terrific times. Haha, <laughs> I see what they did there. It's got a little Mickey spider at the bottom. She's real cute. She's only $20. I'm a fan. I like these ears too. These are the candy corn ears. I think they're super cute. I like them better than the witch ears actually. Because those ones are kind of a lot, but these ones are really cute. And I'm guessing they're probably $24.99 or $27.99. That's my guess. Here's some more plush. We have like the vampire and the witch, but also um, mad scientist Chippendale. Excuse me? That's so cute. And then mummy Pluto. Look at him with all his bandages. He's also so cute. There's so much merch. We have like these weird little things, some sequin flipping shirts, some glow in the dark things. I actually love this. My best friend at home just had a baby in June. So like how cute would this be for her baby? <laughs> Do I need to spend $20 on something for her baby that she'd only wear one year during Halloween? Um, Maybe because it's so damn cute. They have like little buckets. This is funny. Oh my gosh, it's spooky. That's cute. Um, the little like treat bags. The little treat buckets, these ones have candy corn in them. That's cute. Um, I'm trying to peep the spirit jerseys, but there's people in front of them and I don't want to be disrespectful and in the way. Oh, here's more of the snacks. So we have hot chocolate and marshmallows. This is like the pattern for this year, so I'm pretty sure this is what's also on like the hoodies and shirts and stuff like that for the party. But it's super cute. You have like werewolf, goofy, mummy, Pluto, the mad scientist, Donald's, I don't know, a prisoner. <laughs> but this is cute. That's hot chocolate with marshmallows. She's $13. Candy corn is $8. And the little mini or the little Mickey. These are real cute too. These are like the Rice Krispie in the holiday colors. They're adorable. These ones are $13 too. Popcorn, which I never buy pre-packaged popcorn, so I think it's kind of gross, especially candy corn. That just doesn't sound appetizing at all. But if you want to spend $7 on gross popcorn, have at her. 
pumpkin spice frosted pretzels. I don't like pumpkin spice, but if I did, this would actually be like kind of delicious. Uh, nine bucks is kind of pricey, but like I'd maybe spend it. I'm not here to lie to you. They have the magic bands. These are real cute. These are the B ones. I think they're like the medium price ones. But look at focus. It's hard because it's like shiny. But look at how cute that is. It has like the spooky pumpkins and then it has the year on it, which is really nice. And I like that it's black too. That's so cute. They have more shirts here. I like these ones a lot. And then look at how cute the backpacks are. These are like the lounge fly bags they do for literally every occasion. I love the black sequin. I would get just a black sequin by itself. Then it's got the candy corn bow and these adorable little candy corn little tags. These are always like so expensive. So this one is $90, which I uh, could never justify, but like she's real cute, right? This zipper is cool too. It's like a multicolored zipper. And then finally, ta-da, this is the spirit jersey. It's so cute. It's like sparkly. I don't know if you can tell. It's literally like glittery in the jersey. So I don't know if that would just wash out, but it's so cute. It has the little, everything's washed out right now. Oh look, take your tree. But it has the little pumpkin and the year on it. And then the back of it is the same. It's like the candy corn design with the pumpkin in there, which I think is so cute. The colors are more vibrant than they're showing up. My camera's washing everything out, but it's really, really cute. How much are you? Because I'm like tempted by this. I'm not gonna lie, I like the Disneyland version better, so I'm more tempted by the Disneyland version, but this one's still real cute. Um, it doesn't say a price, but I'll we'll look it up online and throw it on the screen or something. Usually the spirit dress is around like 65, 70, but I love this one's like glittery. Oh my gosh. It's a light up pumpkin hat. This is the most absurd thing I've ever seen. I don't know who would wear this, but I'm sure it's someone's thing and it's $35, so it's not my thing, but I appreciate you. And this one is so cute. Again, I would literally never wear this in the real world, so I could not justify purchasing it, but how cute is the pumpkin Mickey? And this one is $80, <laughs> so it's still really expensive, but $10 less than the sequin one, but she's so cute. The smaller things, these are like the like pin lanyard ones, and then these are kind of like the exclusive pins. So that one's cute, the little Darth Vader there. This one's really cute too. Nothing else focusing. Like that one's super cute. You have the Chippendale, Darth Vader. I think I could probably talk Jamie into buying this one because this one's so cute. It's a little BB-8. Uh, these are like the villains ones. That's cute. Werewolf, Goofy, Pluto. I really like this one. I might have to get this one if I don't get a party one. I'm a sucker for anything of the year, and it says Halloween 2019. It's the pumpkin Mickey. And you don't have a price on you, but I will also find out, I promise. Okay, this is cute too. This is like the hoodie that they have this year. It has, are you scared of the park? Haha, <laughs> see what they did there? Um, and then, prepare to be scared of the Mickey there too. And these are just like little candle holders. Um, what else do we have? I've actually seen a few ladies in this and it looks so good. This is the Hocus Pocus dress they put out this year. And they also have the Hocus Pocus clutch. I know this one is like something crazy like 70 or 80 or 90 dollars. But like, it's so cute, right? Both the backpacks together here. These are like Dia de los Muertos ears. They're super, super cute. Oh, they go to the mansion merch here too. Haha, <laughs> whoops. There's like the graveyard jamboree, some dolls. They have the wish bowls here and in like the Emporium Emporium as well. This is super cute. Yeah. We love a good puzzle. I love this though. Again, I don't need another cup, but it's so cute. It says going our way, and then on the other side. It says the Haunted Mansion. I think that's super cute and I love the matte black. She's expensive, but like she's cute, right? 
Over here they just have a bunch of like generic Nightmare Before Christmassy things, so I don't really care about it, but it's like Jack and Sally stuff, same over there you can see like the dolls, Nightmare Before Christmas dolls. That's kind of boring to me. I'm here for like the Halloween Parks merch. I do miss California Adventures. Halloween is like my favorite thing because Cars Land becomes Radiator Screams and it's the cutest thing in the whole world. And they have this guy out there, so this makes me miss Disneyland so much. He's so cute. Look at how cute they are. Ugh, I miss Cars Land so much. Again, just some more like generic -y villains things. So like the candle holder, Evil Queen, this um, absolute monstrosity of a hat. That's disgusting. And I feel like people were looking for this mug for years um, and it was always sold out. So if you're looking for the melting poison apple mug, you can find it in this middle shop beside the Emporium and she's $23 and she's real cute. I have it at home. So, you know, I support you buying it. I did see a girl in these years today, which I've never seen before and they're so dang cute. Look at them, they have Oogie Boogie and Jack on one side and Zero on the back. Oh, he's so good. Um, and then those are the new Sally ears too that just launched this year. So I know they had a different pair of Sally ears. These ones are a little bit cuter, I think. So those are the new Sally ears and the new Jack ears. So as far as I know, that's all the Halloween merchandise. Um, I'm gonna pop into the confectionery to see if they have any other additional like treats. I don't think they will though, because I feel like that was already so many things. Um, and then we're gonna see if there's any more cute pumpkins, and then I'm gonna head home, because your girl's tired, because she worked a full work day today. Please don't shame me. I need a nap. <laughs> I don't wanna like interrupt any family photos, so I'm gonna kinda like sneak around to show you. Um, but all the pumpkins are up right in the like main center area here. Before anyone runs up, these are like the big pumpkins right in the middle here. And then we have our nice little scarecrow pumpkin over here. Look at him go. He's ready to play sports. He knows what he's doing. Wow, I'm his biggest fan. This is an Emporium cast member, Scarecrow. Okay, someone pointed this out on Instagram, or no, I think someone posted it on Twitter, and I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, say hello to the restroom directional pumpkin. <laughs> Possibly my favorite Main Street pumpkin. It's just out here telling you where the restrooms are, you know? But then also the fire hose, they have a spotted pumpkin and then some Dalmatian pumpkins, that's so cute. Also, look at this boy go. We love a long lost friend. Some more pumpkins here. We have like the cute ones above City Hall. City Hall is so dang cute right now. Um, Chamber of Commerce has a few little ones too. But these ones might be my favorite ones. Look at how cute to see real soon pumpkins are, right? There's truly nothing that I love more than an over-sexualized pumpkin. And that child crying. Look at this saucy lady though. And then we have the mayor too. And the bands out here, living their best life. Stop it, they also have spooky confectionery employees. Is this Taylor before she self-termed? Absolutely. We're gonna head towards the confectionery to see if there's any more, any more spooky treats. Oh, look at this wreath though. So cute. I'm such a sucker for Halloween, damn it. It's really loud in here, but this is the same kind of stuff. It's like popcorn, candy, countdown, things like that. These I didn't see at the Emporium. It says something is brewing in this castle. They're tea towels, and they have this one as the matching one. That's super cute. Those are $20? $22. These are so cute. This is the candy corn rice crispy. They don't have a price on you, so I don't know. But you're really cute, and then they have the pumpkin too. So those are super, super cute. I think I like this one better. I think this one's cuter. But they're both real cute. Let's see. Is there anything else here? I think this all kind of looks the same. I'm gonna look in the cases, because I think the cases might have some stuff. Here. Oh, they're making Halloween stuff also. Yeah. So those are 
like the giant cake pops and then they're also doing these which are so cute these are like the candy corn white chocolate apples i can't really see what's in the case right now because it's so busy but these cupcakes are real cute i think these are like candy for pride who knows um, I don't see any of the Halloween stuff in the cases yet, so I'm guessing they're just starting to do it now and then it'll go in the next couple days because they're definitely making them here. These are all just the regular ones. They do have the pride one out, but they have that like all year. I feel like I see it all the time. Um, and again, no, nothing new. I do love the Sorcerer Mickey one. That one's real cute, but no Halloween ones. I don't know if y'all can see these, but these are in the back where you could get like the Magic Kingdom reusable bags. It says point me to the candy and it's a reusable bag and I think that's so cute instead of just like the regular blue ones. But everything else here at the confectionery is just like regular old Halloween merch that we saw in the Emporium. So nothing too new or exciting here, sorry. Okay, I'm on my way out to see the train station and then leave, but Taylor requested that I go see if there's actually oranges on these trees, because in her leaving vlog, she said there'd be oranges and I don't think there's going to be, but we're gonna see. No, are they limes? I swear she said they're supposed to be oranges, but they just look like sad limes. I'm gonna send her a Snapchat to confirm if these are supposed to be oranges or limes. We're gonna go out towards the train station, see what the train station looks like, the very front of Magic Kingdom, take some cute thumbnail photos of that station, and then we'll walk to the temporary and go home. So that's it, that's all. I'm gonna say this is short, it probably wasn't, let's be honest. Disney princess we signed up for. Like this isn't as dramatic as I thought. There's just like a few little cute banners up there and like some pumpkins, but it's cute. And then also there's these pumpkins. So That's it. I'm tired, yo. I look genuinely bad right now. Um, but that's like the current Halloween decor as of today. It's August 15th. I'm gonna try and get this up like tomorrow or the next day as quick as I possibly can. Cause I know it's like new stuff, um, but that's the current decor as of August 15th and the new merchandise. So I'm gonna like update as it goes, but that's what we got right now. Um, feel free to subscribe 
shoot me a like tell me what you want to see i'm still here for like two more weeks and i'll see you guys later bye